Today, I have a plan to clean my oil trap under the sink. Good morning, everyone. It's Saturday morning, and I always do a general cleaning. Today, I have a plan to clean my oil trap under the sink. So, the oil will not um, stock up because, uh, you know, if you will let it stock up for five months, it will be very, very smelly and um, the oil become uh, hard to take away on the strainer. You know, once the oil get hard, it will stuck up here on this uh, pipe. And of course, if this pipe is already black with hard oil, the water will stop the flow that will cause this um, oil trap to overflow. And this time, I will let you see how I clean this oil trap. Okay guys, this time I will need this pail and this kind of a uh, deeper take away the smelly water that is stuck up inside. I will just flush it in the toilet and the hard oil we replace in the plastic and I will bring it later to the garbage disposal area. Okay, this is how to open it. Look how messy it is. So messy. This is surrounded with oil inside and outside and this is the reason why it's clogging and overflowing it's because there is no other way now to uh, have the water pass through the holes so we will need to remove all of this hard oil around see how hard it is look at this It's so slippery. <laughs> See guys, it's almost full now. I still need to empty it. If you can see there's still oil. To avoid the toilet bowl from clogging with this oil, I use our small strainer that I'm not using for cooking. This is a reserve just for using this. I will remove the remaining oil. I will just flush it in a toilet bowl. <laughs> then put some soap. It's now empty. I will boil the water and uh, put the hot water inside so it will melt the remaining oil on the sides. <laughs> I also clean this trap with soap and pour with the boiled water around to melt the remaining oil. You can see guys, this is surrounded with oil. So I just do it like this. use hot water to melt this oil so ayan guys after cleaning with hot water and the soap this is how it looks like now compared to what it was earlier place back the strainer doing this i save a lot of money because paying the maintenance fee it costs 1000 pesos just to do this and that's it now i just need to clean the sink and replace this one with a new one and pour it with hot water to sanitize And that's it for today!